ABC General Hospital spoilers revealed that upon receiving news of Curtis being shot, Jordan couldn't help but panic and worry. Although she tried to keep her distance from him after the divorce, her care and affection for Curtis still could not be hidden. He is a strong man, brave and always willing to protect his loved ones. Now, the fact that Curtis was paralyzed leaves Jordan heartbroken and angry at the person who caused him to be like that. Jordan decides to go to the hospital to visit Curtis, even though the two are divorced. She clearly felt that no matter what happened, Curtis was still an important part of her life. She wanted to encourage him, support and encourage him to get through this phase and try to heal. In this moment, Jordan realized that no matter what happened before, her affection and care for Curtis still existed. Jordan is determined to catch the shooter who made Curtis this way. Can Gordon catch, catch the shooter soon? What will happen? Meanwhile, Jordan continues to comfort Curtis. She believes that miracles can happen to Curtis and that he will be walking again soon. If Curtis tries to treat it, everything will still be able to, re to recover. Jordan would hug Curtis to comfort him, but suddenly Portia enters the room and saw the scene. She gets angry and kicks Jordan out of the hospital room. Portia doesn't like Jordan when she learns that Jordan still has feelings for Curtis. Jordan could not have imagined that this simple act would cause misunderstanding and conflict with Portia. Jordan's appearance angered Portia, who felt uncomfortable when Jordan still wanted to be with Curtis. The situation created a great misunderstanding between the two women, and Jordan felt greatly embarrassed. She wanted to explain and clarify things, but Portia found it unacceptable. This misunderstanding and conflict has made their relationship more complicated. Portia also banned Jordan from visiting Curtis again. Can anyone advise Portia to be less agitated about the Jordan issue? Besides, Cody will eventually confess to Mac that he is Mac's son. This shocked him, but Cody gave him the real DNA test results. Mac is happy, but promises not to send Cody to jail for stealing Sasha's necklace. Mac will try to make up for his son. Cody and Mac will quickly become closer. Mac really appreciates knowing that he has a child and he will not let his child be disadvantaged. Cody is also happy that he did not expect Mac's reaction to be so intense. Mac is very enthusiastic and moving. It took them so many years to get back together, making Mac both ashamed and grateful to know that Cody is his son. Cody didn't want to tell the truth at first, fearing their situation would be embarrassing. But looking at Mac's attitude, he regrets not saying it sooner. Can Mac handle Cody and Sasha's story? Will father and son become closer? How will things turn out?